Hey guys, welcome to Code Debugger. In this video, we are going to see interaction with Kafka producer and consumer using Spring Boot and Docker Composer. Okay, so what we will do in Docker Composer, we will create viewkeeper and inside Kafka server, we will create topics and all. Uh, we will create uh, our own producer and consumer to interact with them. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any updates from the Code Debugger. Okay, what I've done here, I've created a beautiful application for you guys. So no need to do anything. Uh, uh, you just need to run uh, Docker Compose and then automatically it will create everything for you. Viewkeeper, it will create and after that it will create a Kafka server and it will also create a Kafka topic inside that. Okay, you, what you need to do, you just need to use this topic name to interact with the uh, you can produce the message and consume the message from this topic. Okay, so the steps are right. First, you need to create a Docker Compose file. In Docker Compose file, what you need to give? We need to give the services. One is Zookeeper service I have given, another one is Kafka service. In Zookeeper, what you need to give? We just need to give a image name and what is the port we need to expose that we need to give. Okay, very simple step. Here, we need to give like this. Then I will go to the Kafka second one. Kafka. Kafka also we need to give the Kafka image name then which port we want to use inside the container and which port we want to expose. Okay. Then uh, there are few, uh, uh, you can say the couple of environment variables you need to set up. Uh, these are the mandatory variables. The Kafka creates an enable is called to work first. Then we need to give the Kafka topic. This is the topic name, then a replication factor. This, in, this is the partition and what is the type of topic. Okay. And these are the uh, IP uh, address you need to give. Here we need to give the IP address of your, um, you can say that Windows machine. How you can find that? We need to the we need to open the command line here. Let's say CMD. Okay. Here IP config. IP config. Okay. So here you will find that address here. 192.168.200.194. I have given here. Okay. You can see here, right? Okay, so now what you need to give? Zookeeper uh, address you need to give, and what is the security protocol we need to give? Since Kafka is dependent on the Zookeeper, I have given here dependence on Zookeeper. Okay, and few volume information I have given here, so that while creating the Kafka, you can use the same volume inside the container. Okay, these are the overall uh, 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 Docker Composer file. So nothing here, just two services we need to add. One is Kafka, another one is Zookeeper. So hope you are clear here. So now what we'll do, we'll go next. We just need to run one command call. Let me open. Okay. So here we need to run one command call. Docker compose hyphen F file name we need to give. Then where is, where is my file located? Inside the Docker config slash Docker compose dot YML. I need to up the service, then hyphen D means daemon. I mean, I need to, in background, I need to start the services, okay? Once I put, once I pay, press the enter, then it will create the network inside those services. Then it will create Zookeeper, it will create the Kafka also, okay? So if you go to the Docker desktop, you can see here, Kafka config one now. Compose, composer created here. Inside that, we have Zookeeper and Kafka. Zookeeper is running, then Kafka is running on 9092 port. Okay. Everything is running here. Now, what I will do, as we have given here, the topic name as, uh, let's say, topic name we have given, text topic, right? The same we need to use. Let's say text topic and what, whatever IP address we have used, outside port IP address, that we need to use. Let's go to the application YML. In application YML, what I have given, uh, this is the custom configuration I have done here. Mm -hmm. That's why I have started with app.kafka. Then if it is enabled, we can enable or disable the Kafka. Based on the, I will show you what are the annotation I am using for this. Okay. Now the host, Kafka host is post of server host. That is this one whatever IP address I have configured in the Docker Compose file. Okay. Now, what is the port? 9092 port. Okay. Here we have port as 9092. 
now the topic name if you go to the docker compose this is the topic name i am using okay the, uh, these are the configuration i have given for the consumer let's say consumer group id then maximum pull size uh, these are required for the consumer so let's first go to the uh, producer and we'll see the producer config whatever i have given here okay now on server.port i have given here as a at 8085 port as a 8080 port is configured by some other services okay so what i'll do i'll go to the producer let's say kafka then producer in config producer config is there okay okay here's what i have used if you see conditional property edge up the prefix up that kafka enabled if it is true then only producer config will get um you can say that it will create a bean of this configuration and if you see one more thing i have excluded the kafka auto configuration due to that i am able to produce here all the uh, manual configurations so here we have will have the better uh, you can say the uh, control and the configurations okay so this is the host status i have, uh, I have configured in the um, you can say in the application requirement file now here we have created a producer map inside producer map i have added the kafka host then serializer and deserialization uh, string uh, key and value pair okay what is the key string key and json value also okay now i have created a kafka template inside the kafka template we need to pass the factory so this is the factory i have created in the down yeah here the user json serializer i have created and uh, uh, in this way we can create uh, we can use the default kafka producer factory and there we can pass our producer config map and what is the um, key serializer and value serializer inside that okay and that factory we can use to expose the kafka template and this kafka template we'll use while producing the messages okay so hope everything is clear here okay what we have used at that configuration is it's a configuration class then under that enable kafka enable retry also i have used but uh, yeah retry uh, is optional you, you can use or not use that depends on your uh, business scenario okay now we have the simple configuration we have done for producer now let's go to the producer so if you use your kafka sender okay i have a model called user here we have three properties called name mobile and address okay the same thing will send message to the produ uh, from the producer will send to the kafka okay so this is the component i have created and here you can say uh, component or service whatever you can write here okay i have used kafka template as user whatever template i have exposed here right the producer template if you see here kafka producer template this is the name the same name i have used here okay uh, either you can use the qualifier or don't use that depends on you if you have multiple producer then you need to use the uh, qualifier for that okay now the topic name uh, i have injected okay uh, from the app.kafka.topic here from the application yml i am getting this okay now i'll go to the sender yeah here if kafka is enabled what i am doing I'm just creating a user inside user. I'm just sending that data to the topic using Kafka template. Okay, data sent successfully. I'm printing. Okay, what I will do? I'm using one random key here, and uh, value is something like user sent data sent successfully. Okay. So also here I have used a retrieval. If anything Kafka exception we are getting, which is the exception class from the Apache Kafka common. If anything related to Kafka we are getting, we will just do the attempt, re-attempt of the three times we will do the attempt with the um, gap of three seconds. Okay, 3000 millisecond means three seconds. Okay, and we will do three times. And if still it is failing, then what we will do, we will just log, log that recover method will get called and it will log the message. Okay, this is simple producer class we have written just for um, uh, like a small POC you can use this as a producer. Okay, now what we'll do, we'll go to the consumer config here. In consumer config, what I have given the same configuration enable Kafka, 
the enable Kafka you can uh, use in the directly in here also. Okay, no need to duplicate here. I have given here duplication. I'll uh, we can uh, optimize these codes. Okay, it's not the final code. Okay, configuration you can give then retry you can use then conditional property you can use same post then maximal uh, pool size. These are the configuration we need to give while uh, giving the default uh, config map for the consumer. Okay. So here you need to give, use the Kafka consumer group ID and all. Okay, he, these are the basic configurations you need to give for the Kafka consumer. One is bootstrap server, then serialization and deserialization, then maximum pool size, and then the same way, whatever you have done in the producer side, right? What we have created? We have created a producer factory, then after that we created a template. And in the producer factory, we are giving the default whatever we have created a producer config map, I mean, you can say the configurations, right? The consumer side also, we, ha we have to do the same only. This is the, pro uh, you can say the consumer default config map we have created. While creating the factory, we have given that. And with that map, what we are doing, we have given the group ID, then what is the serialization and deserialization uh, details, and you can say the type ignore headers and all. These are the just simple configurations you need to give. And after that, we can create a Kafka factory. Once we created the factory, then we need to create a listener for that. Here uh, at producer side, what we are doing, we are creating a template. But in consumer config, we need to create a, you can say concurrent, uh, you can say Kafka listener that is called concurrent Kafka listener I have used here. You can say uh, the key is string and value is user. I will consume. Then the here I have used the same consumer factory. In producer, we are using producer factory. In consumer, we are using producer fa consumer factory. Okay. Same way. In producer, we are exposing Kafka template. In consumer, we are ex exposing uh, Kafka listener as being concurrent Kafka listener is the implementation of that. Now, what I will do? The same way, whatever I have given, shown here, right? Uh, how we are uh, sending the data to the Kafka topic. So here I have written a consumer. How we are consuming the data from the Kafka topic? The same way I have used here also. You can say the topic name is test topic I have used here. And group ID, whatever we have configured in the application ML that I am consuming here. And the container factory is like whatever Kafka listener I have configured here, right? In the consumer side. That we need to keep here. Which is the Okay, I have given here. Now, whenever a message will come, automatically this listener will listen that. And uh, anyway, I have used here the retrieval. Uh, the same way uh, it will retry if any Kafka related exception it will get. After that, once you re receive that, it will just log that. You can write your business logic here. This is just for a basic understanding of the Kafka so that you, you can modify this code. I will share this code uh, in the GitHub. You can uh, use this code to uh, do your POC or uh, just for your understanding you can uh, explore this. Okay. So now Kafka producer and consumer is clear. Now once again I will show you the Kafka producer and consumer config. So consumer factory is you need to give then listener you need to give and producer also producer factory and template you need to give. Okay. Hope configuration is clear. In consumer side, we need to use at the right Kafka listener, then topic name, group ID name, and what is the container factory or listener that we need to give, that we need to give. Then second, in producer side, we need to use the Kafka template to send the data. Okay. Now, I will go to the controller. I have created a controller here. So what controller will do? I have injected the Kafka sender here. Whenever I will send, like, let's say, slash users with post mapping, I will send some data, then it will just send the data to the topic. Okay, Kafka sender is sending the data to the topic. Then our Kafka listener will automatically uh, listen that and it will just log that. Okay, I'll, okay. I'll put the debug point here so that whenever any uh, request will, uh, sorry, uh, when control will come to uh, the Kafka listener, we can see easily. 
Okay, what I'll do, I'll start the application and the application port is 8085. Okay, I have given all the steps in the uh, readme.md uh, file. So here what we need to give, uh, this is the command to get the IP address of, uh, uh, of your, uh, you can say Windows machine or any, um, uh, let's say for uh, uh, Linux machine, the command will be different. This is for Windows machine. Okay. And then IP address colon 9092, uh, here we need to give here, the Docker Composer file here plus in your application YML also you need to give okay so now what you need to do uh, after that once this configuration is done that means this Kafka advertise listeners here okay once that is done what you need to do you need to use any of this command either this or this any of this command you can use both command are same only hyphen is difference few of the machines are supporting uh, hyphen few of the machines are not supporting uh, hyphen i mean duck or uh, engine what you can do you can i have already started i think the uh, engine right if you see already it's created right the same command i have used to start the machine here i have used this command right here this command is the same as okay so already jupyter and kafka are running what I will do, I will start the Spring Boot application here in the debug mode. So we have debug point at controller and in the listener also. Let me put at uh, producer side also. Okay, in listener also we have control. So we have three total uh, three debug points. Now application I guess started. What I will do, I will copy this curl command from here. So you don't need to worry about the calling this uh, post endpoint. Go to the post main. Let's import this. Now import. Okay, this is the body we are sending. Okay, let me clear the console here. Now control should come here, right? In the controller. Whenever I will hit this. Yeah, if you see here now. Okay, 8085 we need to keep 8085 okay, again. Okay, 8085 I will change let okay. I'll just send the request. Uh, if you see here, control come to user controller. After that, it will go to Kafka sender. As we are calling the Kafka sender dot send message. Okay. Now I'll resume here. You will see here whatever data I have sent and in the mobile then address, whatever I have given. It is coming here now. Kafka is enabled. Now it will send the data. Okay. Now, once it is sent the data, it will it will say like data sent successfully. After that, automatically here, if you see here, control came to here in the Kafka listener side. Okay. Okay. Here I have created two uh, uh, different, let's say, producer and consumer in the same application, which is not. Uh, it will not be same application. It will be different different application. Just for example, check I have given here. Uh, all the um, configuration in the same application so that you will it will be easy for you to understand okay now uh, if you see here it received the user and it received from the this topic okay i'll just resume here uh, if you see here all the data you have received and we will is now if you see sending the data to the topic from the producer side now consumer side also we have received some data okay that's all about this video thanks for watching this video meet you in the next video with a new concept